Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to configure IBM Cognos Analytics Gateway with Microsoft Internet Information Services or IIS. IBM Cognos Analytics brings changes not only to user interface but to architecture as well. It affects gateway component from previous versions. It comes with a brand new user interface which is provided by a microservice that is hosted at application tier level. This allows clients to access Cognos at application tier, thus removing the requirement for gateway components. However, uh, the gateway component becomes a requirement in certain scenarios. For example, any single sign-on requirement which, in which involves authentication to web tier, involving server variable any integration of Cognos with Microsoft SharePoint or any Cognos server architecture where web server is publicly available or external to a firewall. In this video we will cover how to install Cognos gateway components, install and configure Microsoft application request routing and configure virtual directories. Application pools and proxy settings in Internet Information Services first required component is a web server. If you have already installed web server, then you can skip this part. I am working with Windows 10 and I am going to enable Internet inf Information Services. If you are on a Windows server, you can add web server role to the server. This feature in Windows 10 is available under Control Panel. Click on Programs and then click on turn on or off Windows feature, expand in Internet Information Services and locate Web Management Tool. Under Web Management, select Management Console. We, we will need Internet Information Management Console. Then next, expand Security and select Windows Authentication. Expand Application Development Feature. ISAPI and CGI extensions are required depending on uh, whether you are going to use the ISAPI module or CGI module. I am going to select all available options. After all the required selection, go ahead and click on OK to enable the Internet Information Services. This install might take a while so I am going to pause the recording and come back once this installation is complete. Next, we are going to install application request routing. Link is provided so you can download this application. I have already downloaded the file, but you can pause and grab this file. Double click to initiate the install. I am going to pause the video and will be back once installation is done. Up next, we are going to install Cognos Analytics with Gateway Components. Simply double click the install file and extraction process will begin. In this tutorial I am working with version 11.5 but make sure you have 11.4 or above. For prior versions please see IBM configuration documents. In the opening install screen select a language and click next. On license agreement screen accept the terms and click next. Under install location, choose a location or accept the default location and hit next. If the folder location does not exist, you will be prompted to create the location. Click yes to continue. In the installation type, select custom then click next. Custom allows us to install the optional gateway components. If this is the first install, then leave it as first install. In this demo, I am going to install all components on a single machine. But if you have a multi-tier environment, then make your selections appropriately and click Next. Click Install to start the installation process. I'll pause the video here and will return when this process is complete. Upon completion, open Cognos Configuration and go ahead and configure Content Store Database and authentication provider. If you are working with LDAP and our Active Directory, 
you can configure that under authentication content store database can be configured under content manager once you're done start Cognos services by clicking on the green play icon if Cognos services have started successfully we can go ahead and test whether Cognos environment is accessible click on the environment and copy the gateway URI open a browser and paste the gateway URI in browsers URL and hit enter if all services started successfully we should see Cognos welcome page okay we can see the welcome page congratulation first step is complete we have a working environment and now we can get started with IIS configuration open IIS manager and click on application pool on the top right click add application pool I will name this application pool IBM Cognos and click OK next expand sites and right click on the default site and add a virtual directory under alias enter IBM Cognos and under physical location navigate to web contents folder this folder is located under analytics install directory make sure path is correct and click OK our virtual directory is in place now expand newly created virtual directory and select the BI folder with BI folder selected under IIS locate URL rewrite if application request routing is installed you should see this icon double click URL rewrite and in URL rewrite screen we will click on view server variable click add on top right and enter server variable name as HTTP underscore X underscore BI underscore path and click OK to add the variable click back to rules next we will add a proxy rule click on add rules and double click reverse proxy under inbound rules enter server name colon 9300 forward slash bi forward slash make sure enable ss offloading is checked and click ok double click reverse inbound proxy rule and expand server variable under server variable click on add from the drop down select the server variable and under value enter forward slash ibm cognos forward slash bi forward slash v1 make sure replace the existing value is checked and click ok next we want to make sure is that under rewrite url value after r colon is zero if you see a one or two replace it with zero and click on apply launch a browser to test if you can access cognos via iis virtual directory type in http colon forward slash forward slash server name forward slash IBM Cognos forward slash BI forward slash make sure there's a forward slash present after BI otherwise we might encounter a blank screen and hit enter if IIS settings are correct we should see Cognos analytics homepage in this case settings are correct and we can launch Cognos via IIS directory now next piece is to configure single sign-on so let's head back to IIS and configure that right click on virtual directory and add an application under alias enter CGI bin and change the application pool to IBM Cognos the physical path is going to be the CGI bin folder under the install directory go ahead and click OK our application is in place now under application we need to configure ISAPI module select CGI bin application and double click handler mapping and on top right click on add module mapping under request path uh, enter cognos isapi.dll module is isapi module under executable enter the path for isapi module it is located under cgi bin folder in install directory give it a desired name I will name it IBM Cognos-ISAPI and click OK and click Yes 
to enable ISAPI extension. ISAPI module is configured now. Now we can test Cognos services with ISAPI module. But before we can do that, we need to restart our web server and as well as Cognos services. I am going to restart Cognos services and we will resume once the services are back up. Cognos services have started successfully and now we can test Cognos with ISAPI module. The ISAPI gateway URL is going to be as follow. It is your server name followed by virtual directory, CGI bin folder and then ISAPI module. This path is going to be redirected to BI folder. Okay, let's paste the URL in our browser and click enter. And if all the settings are correctly in place, uh, we should see Cognos Analytics homepage uh, shortly. Uh, that will suggest that all the settings are correctly in place. And uh, here we go, the launch page is here. I am logged in as Hak Nawaz. So that tells me that single sign on is in place and it's working properly. But if you do not have Active Directory in place and uh, you do not have a domain, uh, you might encounter a sign-in page. As long as the URL redirects you to the Cognos uh, login page and our welcome screen, uh, that means our setting in IIS are correctly in place and uh, you can do a little more work to get the single sign-on going. In order to make the ISAPI gateway the default and shorten the URL that you see on the screen, uh, we need to tweak the default HTM located in the web contents folder. Go ahead and open that uh, open this file in uh, text editor. We are going to replace this line with our redirect URL. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the new settings here. Uh, so the the URL is going to start with forward slash our virtual directory followed by CGI bin Cognos ISAPI and uh, this code redirects uh, the IBM Cognos ISAPI uh, to IBM Cognos BI. Uh, once this setting is in place, go ahead and uh, save the file and restart the Cognos services and uh, com let's come back and uh, try the new settings. After editing the default HDM, a server restart is required. I have restarted the server and Cogno services are back up and running. Now we can launch Internet Explorer and we are going to access IBM Cognos Analytics with a short URL. In this case, I am going to type in http colon forward slash forward slash server name forward slash virtual directory. If IIS configurations are correct, we should see Cognos Analytics welcome screen. Now we can launch Analytics with server name and virtual directory rather than using a long URL. We have made ISAPI gateway as the default access point for Cognos. Okay folks, this is it for this session and thank you for joining me today.